Every kid of the 90s was like, you were either Team Pokemon or Team Digimon. The thing you got to do is put them in the same Thank you for joining us here on this lovely, lovely Friday afternoon. We have an amazing lineup planned for you today. A little bit of a, a Pokemon get together. This is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and we have some fantastic, very creative minds with us today. Very talented, talented people, and I'm going to bring them to the stage right now. I am your host, Real Breaking Nate. Let's get this show started, making their way to the virtual stage. We have Sherami Lee. Hi. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so excited to be here. I'm glad you're here, but we have more. Yes. We have. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> next up, we have Alejandro Saab. Hi. How's it going, Alejandro, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Feeling relaxed? <laughs> you ready? No. No? Okay. Well, we'll wait till you're ready. I was we'll you're ready. shaking my head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have Zeno Robinson. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Hey, Zeno. Hi. Loving the shirt. <laughs> Thank you so much. Representing um, Togepi. <laughs> you know, um, one and only, metronome. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the one and only Sarah Natachini. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we have Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ash Ketchum. My oh. mistake. My apologies. <sighs> I love it. Ash is My here, favorite. Everyone. So good. Yes. <laughs> so or good. wait, could this be Sarah <gasps> in disguise? <gasps> wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> It's Sarah, not a Jenny in disguise. Thank you all for being here, taking your Friday to hang out for a bit. Um, have this nice Q and A with the fans. We'll get to know you just a little bit. But how's things been going? Uh, you know, it's it's 2021 now. Thing, you, you feeling better? You feeling better going forward here? I think a little more optimistic. Good, you know? good. That's what I, that's um, what I wanted to hear. I feel like that's everybody's what... everybody's like uh, trying to get you know thinking things are going to get back to normal. Uh, uh, if they just hold on just a little longer, you know, vaccines are rolling out. We're privileged and the, the to be able to have access to that. So I love the positive message. And uh, Alejandro, I see we have another special guest here. Yeah, uh, this is my yamper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my corgi. His name is uh, Ryuji. Uh, remember how in backstage we were having that conversation about not cool? Yeah. Again, another reason I, why, why you're not, cool. Why are you not cool? Uh, yeah, yeah why totally I don't cool. understand. Oh, no, I'm just a weeb. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, because Ryuji got the name? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's still cool. Yeah, you don't want to know his phone great. name. So, you don't I do. I do. I want to know now. And I'm hey, don't worry about it. We'll cool. get to that later. I know. We're in the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. 25 years of Pokemon. Absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, were all of you fans of Pokemon when you were a child? Yes. Yeah. I mean, and how awesome is this? And now and now you're in the Pokemon world. I mean, uh, that's like it has to be a dream come true, right? Absolutely. 100%. I mean, I'm such a Pokemon fan. I've listened to it in three different languages now, I guess. I started <laughs> off in Spanish. Yeah. Oh, great. amazing. Wow. Yeah. 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 My, uh, that, that's a fun fact for me. Uh, it's, my first language is Spanish. That's so cool. That cool. is. I, I wanted to ask you all, um, and you don't all have to answer, but if you would like to, why do you think Pokemon is so popular? I think there's something like really cool about the wonder. Uh, I think, oh, I think, I think human beings in general have a, a great, like camaraderie with animals in general especially animals that are like friends so you know ryuji is you know alejandro's dog and everybody has like likes pets and pokemon are just kind of cooler pets <laughs> you know mm -hmm. they're just like, pets that can that have superpowers you know and um that are like cute little monsters so i think it combines with what humans like about you know animals and animal companions and kind of ups mm -hmm. the ante a little bit and i think that's why pokemon is so cool to everybody I think it um, transcends generations because the characters don't age. So they're mm -hmm. there for every generation. And when people become parents, they show it to their kids. And then their kids can show it to their kids. And it just keeps on going and going. I felt so, like, awkward and, like, I never really fit in anywhere. And so I think the idea of 
there being a, a little companion, a magical companion that chooses you, that loves you, that wants to go on adventures with you. It's kind of like everybody is always going to have their unique friend and companion. Even if you can't find a group of people at school that totally get you, this, this little creature chooses you and loves you and is going to be with you on your journey. Mm, no pun intended, um, <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is really wonderful and really nice. And my husband is also, I, I, mm, I hate to say the biggest Pokemon fan, but one of, we have his closet is full of Pokemon plush and it's like a Pokemon cave. Uh, so it's, it's a large collection. It's a little <laughs> overwhelming. They used to be all over our living room and our one bedroom apartment and people didn't understand that when they would walk into the living room, they'd go, oh, you weren't kidding. He loves Pokemon. Like, it looks like this is a place where Pokemon live and you just take care of them. We have that many large Pokemon flesh. Wow. How excited was he when you booked this job? Uh, so obviously I couldn't tell him, but he was telling me about like, share me, they're doing a new series a new Pokemon series. I was like, really? Wow. That's so cool. And he was like, you, you should see if you get in an episode. I was like, that would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> and then when the show came out, his, his friend had watched it. Cause he has a younger son had watched the episodes first, like the day they came out with the son. And he was like, so my kid thinks that Chloe is Jeremy's voice. It just sounds like Jeremy. And he was like, no, Jeremy would have told me. <laughs> She's my wife. She would have told me. So oh we watched God. the episodes. He was like, "That sounds like you." And I said, "Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin it for you." And so now I still can't tell him what's coming up with the episodes. A for NDA, but B, I don't want to ruin it for him because he's watching the series and he loves watching Whoa. the series. He binges all of them the day they come out. So, wow, wow, that's what a great story. Yeah. <laughs> And, 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 you know, and, and speaking of binge watching, I mean, we're going into the 24th season coming up, which, I mean, that is fantastic. You know, uh, Journeys just kind of wrapped up, but now we're going into Master Journeys, um, which is going to debut sometime this summer, according to the press release mm -hmm. that they sent out. But uh, are you, I mean, Journeys seemed like it was so much different than the rest of the Pokemon animes that we have seen previously. And I I'm curious to get uh, your thoughts on why you think Journey stands out over the rest of the you know, past seasons. All at once. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'll start. Uh, I think it's mainly because uh, Ash and Go are primarily traveling around the world and it's not specifically dedicated to a single region mm -hmm. which uh from watching pokemon before i got to voice in it um it, it, it was something that it's like oh this time around ash is in the unova region or in the kanto region or in the zone so <laughs> like mm -hmm. no uh <laughs> and uh but this time around it, it, that's not a limitation which i think is what mm -hmm. attracts uh, a lot of folks especially because uh, Ash has seen uh, friends that he's met along the journey. Um, so, yeah. I would absolutely agree with you on that. Um, yeah, like, uh, kind of piggybacking on that. Like, uh, I think uh, because it's not uh, centered in a specific region with a specific kind of grouping of Pokemon, mm -hmm. um, that the show really gets to kind of show a lot of facets about, like, Pokemon culture that may not that may have only like been brushed upon in previous seasons, but now mm -hmm. that you know Ash and Go and now Chloe are traveling uh, uh, together, it's kind of like uh, um, um, you got you get to see kind of more about like Pokemon life outside of battling and mm -hmm. you know how how things are in cultures in specific regions. There's that episode early on where they were. Uh, you know, eating scones and it was a delicacy, you know, like uh, it's like things like that. Like, and I think that's why it stands out because it's really, it really is just about like pure adventuring and while at the same time, you know, there's still the battles and there's still the trying to be the champion and things like that. No, I think that's a great explanation. Absolutely. 
Anybody else want to add it? <laughs> no, they they do. Yeah, okay. that's right. totally. Chef you. kiss. <laughs> Chef kiss on that one. Chef kiss to you. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, jump into fan questions because I know we have a uh, a lot of people watching. So um, we will get some fan questions going. This is from Shaw. What's your most memorable moment in the recording booth? Ooh. Okay. Um, when Lisa and I cried, when um, when that one Pokemon, I won't give it away if you guys you know, haven't watched it, a Pokemon passes away, and Lisa mm. and I cried in that session. That's the most memorable. I should probably get a funnier one going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think. Coming up this season. <laughs> okay, this current season we're working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's mine. Uh uh, I think for me it was uh, doing the the battle against like uh, like voicing Leon f facing off against uh, Raihan because uh, it's like the rivalry is like so known in the community. So it's like oh yeah, and getting to hear uh, Danny voice Raihan for the first time was so cool. I was like oh that's what he sounds yeah. Also he can probably give your husband a, r a run for his money when it comes to plushies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have to have a competition because uh, oh no 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 don't don't my husband is so competitive he'll be like well we just gotta buy more and there will be like mountains of boxes don't give him that challenge Zeno he will do it <laughs> I'd love to see that like he's really your husband's really about it he's trying to catch them all like he uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's 800 plus uh, oh, oh 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 I know <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know i um maybe my i think my mes most memorable moment was probably like my first day um yeah as go like it was like you know everyone from the pokemon company was there and like producers were there and like a lot of times when you book something like that it doesn't really feel real until you're like actually like doing it and like you know getting to say like Okay, ball go for the first time. <laughs> That's something that I've been saying as a kid for fun, <laughs> you know. Like, uh, is 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 super cool. Um, yeah, I think it's probably my most mem memorable moment is probably like stepping in the booth for the first time and seeing like Pokemon English dub, and I was like, yo, like <laughs> this is happening. Wow, That's so um, awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. I barely remember it because it was so long ago. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. me, it was like last year, you know? So Yeah, like, <laughs> they must have all been there, yeah. I think, I guess. I was. Oh, I only had like one or two sessions in the booth before I am, we yeah. were home, mm -hmm. um, which oh. has been really interesting. Because mm -hmm. that first session, I remember the audition because I just, they were like, please come audition for this thing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I, I think about all the things that actors do when they're like, come to this undisclosed location for this thing. And we're like, <laughs> okay, uh, it's not very- it's Make not sure very it's safe. parking lot spot 407. Yeah, it's very <laughs> weird. That um, one's yours. But I had no idea what I was auditioning for until I got the, the, the sides. And I was like, oh my goodness, this would be so cool if I just got to show up and then, uh, the names were different. So then when I got yeah. cast, I was like, who, who is Chloe? What is this going to be? And then when I, the first interaction with Yamper interacting with a Pokemon was the coolest, most surreal thing ever. Um, and then I just denied it uh, with my <laughs> husband and everyone else. And everyone forever. else in the world. <laughs> yeah. Although I did yeah. buy a Yamper online. And then when it got here, I was like, look, John, I got you a yamper. And he was like, I don't have that one. This is so cool. Right. And then when the show premiered, he was like, so the this yamper. was for you, wasn't it? I, was like, I can just imagine you're both watching the show. He's holding yamper. And then as you come on screen, he's like, and I just take it back. Right. Yeah, like he's just like, like at you. oh, yeah. Oh, we have Pikachu. Hey. My yamper. This is Pikachu. Oh. I do have two I two little black cats and uh, they have started breaking into the sessions and making their presence known. And I'm like, oh, guys, God. you can't just show up in the session. There, There is no Zemi Pokemon or an Aries Pokemon. You have to stay outside. 
I am very happy to hear that because Pikachu has started doing that recently. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is majorly unprofessional. My cats are sending out the sign. Is that like that a it's pet thing? the way we do things. Like no. my dog can, would come into my, my booth during my sessions because he like he likes just hanging out in my booth, but he'll come specifically in a my, Pokemon Yep. I'll be like, I'll oh, use you perfect. as inspiration. Just stand someone, there and be quiet. Yeah. Can someone <laughs> take the screenshot before it ends? <laughs> how, do I, how do I do it? Oh, wait, I, wait, I wait. don't know. I'm sure someone took one. I'm going to take trying to get my phone to take oh, a picture. this is so cute. Okay. Oh my All right. god. Screenshot. Wow. Oh my god. Yay! This is adorable. Yay, good boy. You're a good boy. I love you so much. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Pikachu. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Uh, the funny thing Aww. for me, I always recorded from home on my end. <gasps> or no, yeah, on. because, because yeah. Oh, it started yeah. at... Yeah. Uh, yeah. They didn't cast you until... Uh, Post yeah, oh. I think it was episode 13 of Journeys. Yeah. 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 Wow. So do well, you all it's pretty cool when we do it in the studio. So mm -hmm. do you all get to see each other when you're recording? Or is no. it no? <laughs> no. <I wish. laughs> That's what I've been be so cool. excited about. Like this. I mean, I'm always excited anytime I get to do a, a virtual event because I get to see people, but especially for this one, because I've been like never gotten to interact with this cast. <laughs> never met, yeah. We like we got cast and then uh and then the pandemic happened and we like never uh, yes. saw in each other and yeah. any opportunities to board. interact with each other at conventions in person, which is usually the only way we get to say, like, hey, great job on this thing, great job. Yeah. Like, oh, it's yeah. so exciting to work on this project together. We haven't had that. So mm -hmm. this is like really cool. Yeah. I think oh, I did a, a Pokemon spelling bee over oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, who came to that? Were you sure me? Were you? Oh, I could. I, I, I had to. Uh, my my cousin had a virtual <laughs> holiday party and play, so I there was there. Excuse. I think I had work. I think I was working on Akudama Drive. I, I don't know. care. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't you come spelling bee. I was there. I, I was there. No, I, I failed. I I asked my, my, I was like, John, if I can't do it, can, would you be able to fill in as me and we'll just oh. cut out a headshot, you'll wear my face. He was like, uh, that wouldn't be fair to everyone else. That's, he, was like, he goes, share me, the knowledge I have of Pokemon is way different and way more elevated than what you know of spelling and that would be unfair. And I was like, why are you so honest? Like, man. Yeah. I gotta see this plushie collection. I'll uh yeah. I'll 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 let him style it and then I'll I'll take a picture and post it on uh on Instagram so you guys can see it. It's the it, most I have is is this that little no, slot I, over there. We have a little Pokemon oh. cave and then we got to go to Japan in October oh. of 2016 and got to go to like uh -oh. Pokemon stores. But yeah. so I told him I was like, you can't get like the large Pokemon plush size because that's what he has. So he ended up getting the the smaller ones, like the I think they're called the two the cuties or whatever the two. Oh, yeah, like the sitting cuties. Yeah. 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 So he yeah. got a lot of those. I really think that coming back a suitcase was just Pokemon plush. I love. I love that. Gotta catch like, them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> you're like gotta okay. Look, you gotta get Pokemon, all. but you can't get this one. Okay. We you can't. can't. Get, no, I did. I did say like, which ones do you like that maybe would be fun. If Santa Claus brought them for you. <laughs> did did you guys find the Pokemon Center at the airport? Really bad. We yes, should go I together. Actually, yes. I have I have a two I have a Pikachu from the airport that I bought okay. in the airport like the vending machine thing. Yeah. And then I have two from the uh Pokemon Cafe, which are in our kitchen. Uh, okay. oh, oh, that's cool. I, I was asking because I was like, what would have stopped him from buying another suitcase, going to that Pokemon <laughs> Center store in the airport? You know, and I don't think it had occurred to him. Otherwise, he would have done it. But we went to so many Pokemon yeah. stores. Um, and I'm, I'm not mad about it. I found yeah. fun things there, too. I mean, it's just that the, I know that the airport one specifically has like Pikachu in a pilot outfit. That's what I have. Oh, yeah. Ah. Nice. yeah, like each Pokemon Center has exclusive merch yeah. just yeah. to that store, which is crazy if you're trying to collect everything. So I want to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. Do it. Don't okay. be like, when? Just fly. 
<laughs> Let's jump into the uh, the next fan question. Okay. Uh, this is from Kitty. <gasps> if you could have chosen, what would you have been, uh, or what would have been your starter Pokemon? Is um, what? I said this is easy. If you could have chosen, <laughs> okay. what would have been I, your starter Pokemon? I, it, it's it's not fair because my favorite Pokemon is a starter. I would have chosen Charmander because it turns on Charizard. But oh, there you go. The, you meant to be the yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, you're just picking that because you voice Leon. See, even Ryuji's <laughs> complaining. Uh, for sure, it's in the quill. Wow. Okay. 100%. Nice. Yeah. I pick Mew. Oh, oh, bro. it's like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go is like having a panic attack somewhere. Like, <laughs> what news? Must? What see when I was young, I loved Squirtle, I loved Squirtle, but monkeys are my favorite animal, so then I kind of gotta say Grookey would be the choice, like yeah. as an adult. Okay, okay, cute. cute. I'm yeah, a little upset. Nobody did. said Psyduck. That's fine, though. That's fine. Oh, oh. Okay, Psyduck. Psy change. I change. Well, I, thought, well, I, thought, well, I thought the question was which Pokemon Pokemon starter specifically. Yeah, I thought they had to be like starter specific, Pokemon. not any yeah. Pokemon. If it's yeah, still it's any Pokemon, Pokemon, it's it's still Charizard. Uh, well, it, see, then it then it well, it still could be uh, Grookey, but I do yeah. love Jirachi, and I do love uh, uh, I do love a little Celebi. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, let's jump into the Our next one. <laughs> the first Pokemon. This one is from Kevin. Do you have any <laughs> Pokemon memorabilia? What's your favorite piece <laughs> that you own? What? I will bring what? it. Hold on. Hold Uh-oh. On. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Don't look at my shorts. Yeah. Everybody's running to go grab turn off my camera real quick. I have so don't, many don't worry about it. Oh. Well. Zeno's running to grab something. Uh, Jeremy is like, I don't know what to choose right now. I don't now. know what to choose. That's amazing. Oh, oh yeah, that's a beautiful uh, statue. Okay, okay, okay. I'll turn off my camera and I'll go find a couple of things. I'm trying to do the that are, that are mine and not my husband's. Oh, yes. Ooh, you got the Game Boy Color Pouch? Oh, (laughs) nice. Why is nobody excited about this? Because the statue. Everybody look at the statue real fast. (laughs) Like, this is from when I played my first Pokemon games, and I still have it. I love that. Um, Wow. Yeah. This is like, I played blue and uh, red, uh, and they were in here. They look, look, look how worn. Oh my god, look at you. So Do you still cool. have your original save file? Uh, I still have the Game Boy. I don't know if I still, hmm. but I still, the game's probably somewhere in my house. Um, so if, if it works, yes. Okay, my other favorite. <gasps> oh, oh, signed by me. My dog is staring at this menacingly. Oh, Sarah, you're going to make Red me back. shed a tear. <laughs> This is very oh, special. That's sweet. Thank you so yes. much, Sarah. I love you. Oh, uh, look at the Celebi. Is, is that a little, wizard Celebi? This is my little Celebi that I got in Japan. We went in October. Wow. So this is like the Halloween that's cute. dressed Whoa, up Celebi. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. so cute. Um, also, this is this is the family Yamper. Yeah. I tried to get only, the things that are only mine that are not my husband's. This one Fair. I gave to him, but it was actually for me. And then this is the... This is the little yeah from the airport. Oh, wow. Wow. Very so cute. See, I it even it. has the name on little, the tag. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Leon standing. Oh, focus, 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 focus. 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 Oh, there, oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Yeah, look wow, at that. That's amazing. That's so yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. I haven't found any Chloe stuff. I just looked up a Go thing like just now and bought it. So this is for the Switch for just Go. now yeah, on the. St- yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's Come on, focus, focus. focus. There we I go. Have ah. All of my Pokemon cards from when I was a kid, but they are not with me here. They're at my parents' house. But oh, I still make have sure them they're not scratched up. They could be worth three hundred thousand dollars. Really? Yeah, really. I wonder if oh, I still have my holiday on the card. card. On that. Let's not get started. Starting on the card. Not our thing. It's not our world. We should talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because you, I mean, we could go down a rabbit hole with this, with this whole situation. Um, uh, Alejandro, do you have your, uh, do you have your Pokemon card of Leon? I do. Oh. It's downstairs. Hold on, I'll be right back. 
<laughs> <laughs> we're back. We gotta go get it. Like, that will be the yeah. whole panel. Yeah. Let me go get it. I'll let me go right get back. it. I will be right yeah, back. I'll, I got it. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I have these posts. Well, I shouldn't talk about that here. <laughs> another show. <laughs> it's really I mean, the first show. It was you know, it's meaningful. It's signed by the cast of that. Of that. Aww. We should have a poster really that we all cool. sign. Yeah. Yes, please. Cool. Yeah. Really Absolutely. 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 Nice I love that. All right. Well, I guess we're just waiting on Alejandro at this point. So, I mean. Oh, it is. So this is officially. I just saw the tag. It is the Halloween festival celebration. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I right. believe that was just 2018. To get it specific. So. Yeah. 2018, 19, something like that. Yeah. One of those pre pre COVID times. Yeah. That all blends together. The before times. The before times. Yeah. So a Which, buddy of mine gave it? me this card. Uh, oh, this. Oh, hey, come on, you can, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Charizard that recently came That's out, apparently. Oh, yeah, man. This is the one that I man <laughs> that I just managed to snag. Ooh, oh, ooh, fuckers, ooh, come on. Uh, you can do it. I believe in you. Whoa. There we go. That's awesome. <laughs> That's, That's so cool. cool. Yeah, I need to I need to get it graded because uh <laughs> my friends is like, hey, you don't know. It could be really valuable in the future. I'm like, rrr, rrr. You're like, I'm going <laughs> to keep it forever. It's mine. It's me. That's yeah, so cool. that is true. Anyway, yeah, keep it. Unless I bought two. Am I smart? I'm not smart. Well, there's also <laughs> another yeah. version of that Leon card, too. Right, where it's not uh, the, the rainbow. It's the standard colors. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that you had everything, you know, going forward <laughs> That's here. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and jump into the next fan question. Uh, we have from Muhammad, uh, which of your characters Pokemon do you like the most? Which Go has 700, are? so it's like hard to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, he's, he's on his way. He's on his way. He's on his way. <laughs> um, I really like, um, I really like score bunny i think casey does a great job yeah, of yeah. playing score bunny and it makes score bunny so adorable and um and i'm really starting to like sobble too it's getting hard now Ooh, like oh yeah uh -oh. every every episode That's i'm like <laughs> <laughs> um as much as i love charizard uh <laughs> i think one of my new favorites no ryuji not you i mean i love you but <laughs> uh but one of me. my new favorites is uh <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Aegislash, who Ooh. its first evolution okay. is Hone Edge, and I found out with through the Sword and Shield Pokedex entry, Hone Edge is a sword that inhabits the soul of the person that was uh, murdered by that blade. That is in the game! That is, what? and I'm like, wow, that sounds so cool! Whoa! <laughs> Ghost I'm, Pokemon I'm have weird Pokedex entries. Oh, they do, yes. Whoa! The Pokedex is pretty metal. I love yeah. That. Uh, so yeah, Honich has easily become one of my new favorite Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, Pikachu is, is my favorite Pokemon, period. So of Pikachu course. Is my favorite. For yeah. yeah, 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 has to be. It, it, <laughs> the yams. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I I'm love gonna, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. So, Let's Yamper, it. Yamper has an evolution. I'm not a fan of it. I prefer Yamper. Yeah, <laughs> I would agree. Yeah. How can you not love Yamper? Yeah. Love Yamper. Look at Yamper. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that's a a, a good point. <clears throat> Uh, and, and share me, it was a yamper for you, right? Just making sure that was mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, I just wanted mm -hmm, to make sure. Mm -hmm. um, let's jump into the next fan question. This one is from Russell. What do you like most about the characters you voice? Um, sure. Yeah. No, no, no. Please go ahead. I've been going first a lot. <laughs> oh, that's okay. No, no, no. Um, his tenacity, his inability to age. <laughs> That's He's a good one. <laughs> That's he, is, he always he is my friend. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, uh I like how <laughs> how dumb Leon can be. <laughs> he 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 imbues and it's something I've been told a lot with how I portray characters. 
he imbues himbo energy. <laughs> Which, what means? Yeah, uh, essentially, essentially, just like uh, a lovable like dad kind of figure who is also dumb. He gets lost a lot, which is one of my favorite attributes of Leon. Aww. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think Go is a boss. Go is not afraid to do... he A Pokemon, I'm catching. You know, he doesn't care. He's like, mm -hmm. he has his sights focused on a goal, and nothing will stop him. No, he doesn't even think. He just he just, he sees the poke <laughs> Pokemon and throws the Pokeball. He doesn't worry about any of the technicalities or specifics that comes with that. And you know what? It pays off. And you will see how it does. It pays off. I think Goku just kind of like lives in the moment. He does. Yeah. 100%. Right? He's, he, he lives. He, and he, I just think he's, just, he's like, this is what I want to do. And I'm going to do it. You know, his, his motto, the future's in the palm of his hand. You know, that's, that's, that's how he operates. He's just go, going, going. Going, go. going. All the time. He's <laughs> <laughs> going. I love that Chloe is her own person. And uh, she is finding her own path. Um, even if that feels like not the easiest path, like it, it's going to take some time and, and uh, ways to navigate, but she is committed to staying true to herself, which I think mm -hmm. is very difficult to do um, when it's so much easier to, to be influenced by what everybody else wants you to be and what they see is best for you. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love that she, is committed to being Chloe and and all of the things that that entails. I like that. A tear. <laughs> Let's try not to cry. Let's try not to cry. <laughs> Next up, we have a question from Katrina. What other fandom do you think <sighs> would be awesome to cross over <sighs> with Pokemon? Another fandom. Digimon. <laughs> whoa, 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 no. whoa, 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 whoa. Is that even allowed? That would turn gruesome real quick. We're settling. We're settling this debate today. <laughs> <laughs> Every kid of the 90s was like, you were either Team Pokemon or Team Digimon. The thing you got to do is put them in the same team... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, so good. You're so cool. The whole soundboard and everything. Man, yeah. <laughs> I would say Marvel. I would Ooh, say that actually, good that would be really answer. Cool. Yeah, yeah, buddy, a buddy for all the superheroes. Ooh, yes, that would be awesome. Good yeah. answer. I don't yeah. think I'd want to see Pokemon with DC though. That would just no, be very be depressing. Dark. Pokemon. Dark. <laughs> yeah, <It'd be> interesting <laughs> for sure. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Let's do it. That'd yeah. be way cool. I like yeah. that a lot. Well, it's settled. Who, who do we contact? It's settled. Yeah. Who, who do we that? contact? <laughs> oh, yeah, let me just. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Marvel? Yeah. Marvel? Yes, I have a proposition. Kevin Feige, I got a great Disney Plus series for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro, did you uh, have one in mind? Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, I mean, my first thought was my hero, but I feel like. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, Marvel sounds cooler. Yeah. Um, and then uh, other than that, I thought of Fire Emblem. Um, oh, that would be cool. also really cool. Yeah. 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 Well, Dr said the Wyvern Knights is like all flying. That could, yeah, yeah. That That'd could be, really be cool. easier to mm -hmm. achieve because maybe not. I was going <laughs> to I'm trying to think like which would they which brands would work together and i'm like well, well under the same it's umbrella nintendo. yes so true, true. maybe i don't know they probably be like call nintendo don't say that jeremy you're in big trouble now <laughs> like, delete Marvel, the game nintendo? yeah <laughs> and jeremy did you have one in mind i i love the i love the marvel idea that's really good yeah. uh I, I i don't i don't know I think it would be really funny to um, to like throw them into a historical fiction series and make Pokemon interact like past events in history. Um, but that's just because 
I like documentaries and historical <laughs> fiction. So uh, the an Pokemon Animal Planet Pokemon. Yeah, great. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, I would watch wait that. a minute. You might be onto something. You here. might be on, you done something. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> they made it. It's called Pokemon Snap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. True. That's true, too. True. <laughs> we need the Animal Planet and Pokemon crossover, yeah. basically. Yeah. We yeah. Need. Okay. Uh, next be question. By the narrator in Pokemon. That'd be really cool. <laughs> That'd be that really cool. Uh, this is from Christy. What Pokemon would you like to have as a pet? I have them. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I have them too. My boy. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Um. Hmm. We got Pikachu making an appearance again. Yes. He's so adorable. <laughs> Look at him. Just... Pikachu's like, Mom. Please. Yeah, I'm trying to sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's Barely so hard being famous and beloved open. by all the people. <laughs> oh, sweet oh Pikachu. I know. Now, mm. something that you'd have to keep in mind uh, with having a Pokemon as a pet, you know, just like a normal pet, you have to clean up after that pet. Yeah. So mm -hmm. right. that's, uh, that's, you know. Something to consider. Yes. Yeah, For the sure. bigger the Pokemon. Charizard is out. <laughs> I guess Whale Lord is out. I was going to say, Whale Lord might be one Whale that you might Lord. want to leave out. A Lowland Executor, another one as well. Kyogre is out of here. Oh, <laughs> Kyogre <man>. Groudon. <laughs> Can't have my pet Rayquaza like I wanted. Uh, uh, I guess Groudon is out of the question. <laughs> Only exactly. cause earthquakes. Maybe a nice uh, Caterpie. How about that? Yeah. Or or a cutie fly, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a cool. Psyduck. Ooh, there we go. Well done. <laughs> there we go. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Um, um my my cat uh has a very fluffy tail that reminds me of Evie. So there have been oh, yeah, often yeah. times where I'm like, Sammy, you look like Evie today. I don't know how he responds to that. He's probably annoyed. Uh but so maybe maybe Evie. Evie. I don't know. Evie might might be uh not someone who likes to be trapped in the house all the time. And yeah. then everybody would like want to Evie's stop and pet Evie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Evie's yeah. I feel like we're going to run into that with any Pokemon that we would have as a pet. Yeah. That anybody would want to stop and take pictures and pet it. But not, you know something? At the end of the day, I would like to have a Pikachu because it's really, really cute. Mm -hmm. It loves me. Mm -hmm. And it's a weapon. Okay, fair. <laughs> and also, your electric bill. Is gonna be like <laughs> non-existent, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Which is arguably one of the most expensive ones. So, yeah, uh, a mimicue yeah. might be fun too. Mm -hmm. Say it again. A mimicue might be fun as well. Might be fun, yeah. Scary. That'd be a little <laughs> scary, definitely. Don't look. No, not Don't scary. Look. It's lovable and adorable. It just yeah. wants to be accepted. Yeah. Don't look under the. Under the no. No. It's fine, guys. It's, it, it, oh. Don't judge, sweet mimicue. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no, mimicue's it's great. Just doing it. Doing Mimikyu's best. True. How about a, a, a nice ditto? Love a ditto. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. What's wrong no. with ditto? What's wrong with ditto? Ditto's Finding useful. it would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Just look for the smiley face. <laughs> what if it blends with the... Look, look. Ditto is look. way easier to find in video games and anime because it's so distinct. It's just but like in the real world, no, 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 no. It'll blend with everything. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't match it completely. Well, that's know? good. That's good. Like, if, if you rent a place and, the, and, like, somebody has to come by and, like, check. Like, oh, can't keep uh, Pokemon. Blend in. Yeah, there it is. Disappear. Oh, you, you know, know I mean? true. it's gonna be a yeah. smiley Alejandro on the, on the couch. Like. That's, uh, <laughs> that's definitely thinking outside the Pokeball. Oh, all right. We'll jump into the next question. Cool. We got one from SC. What is your favorite thing about voice acting? You can be anybody you want to be. I'm not limited to what I look like. That's it. That's true. It's one of the most important aspects. Yeah. That's what they, that's what they say. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think uh, I stole that answer from everybody, possibly. No, I, I, that's what I was talking to somebody about the other day. I said mm -hmm. all of the things that people have told me my whole life, like you can't do this or you only look mm -hmm. like this or this is all you can play, all those limiting beliefs that we 
just take on and believe because they're adults or they are mentors and they know better. Um, when you're in the booth, it's whatever your voice can be. And I get to like get rid of all those limits that people have put on me, which is kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, one day I get to be, I get to voice a champion. And then the next day I get to be some weird slime dude. That's the grossest thing I've ever voiced in my entire life. That has the most peculiar laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. Uh, yeah, get, getting to kind of play pretend in a and 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 a lot of different worlds that uh, that sometimes can only be told through a specific medium. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Um, you can't, you can't. Uh, they like to make live actions of everything, but it doesn't always translate as well. Yeah. <clears throat> And just kind of just to uh, go off of this question here, if you could travel back in time and tell yourself one thing when you got started in voice acting, what would it be? Parents aren't going to like my answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for your answer. Uh, <laughs> I'd be like, hey, you know how you, you're going to college? How about you leave a little yeah, earlier than you left? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I dropped out. of. I, I was studying animation is what I was doing. I went to Savannah College of Art and Design. And after a year of it, I was like, this is all right. But like, it's not what I want to do. And I had been doing like acting on the side for a while. And it was something that I, it my, in my, in the grand scheme of things, I was like, yeah, I'll animate by day and act by night. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, that didn't pan out. And uh, I dropped out of college and being hispanic my parents were like oh, i can't believe this. <laughs> so uh but yeah i mean they, they, they're proud of me now so that's good that's good it's an honest answer yeah it's an honest answer and that's what matters mm. did anybody else have anything um, i wish i'd taken more classes that's it yeah i wish i'd like studied with great people more and invested in myself more Good one. I wish I invested in myself more. That's probably what I'd say. I'd be like, hey, like, you, you could be more tenacious about learning yeah. um, how to be good at this. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll pay off, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I think mine is not just voice acting, but just acting in general, which is um, you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to. Um, like you can be human and you can make mistakes and you can play. Uh, Cause I started working when I was a, a kid and um, I felt like when I was working so young and I loved doing it and I was taking classes, then when I got older and people were just getting into it, there's this, um, and it's probably something that I put on myself. Like when you'd walk into a classroom or you'd walk into a job and you already have a resume that people are expecting that you're going to just be perfect. And um, oftentimes that, uh, that restraint that you put on yourself of like, I can't make mistakes or I can't, I got to do what I do well mm -hmm. um, to make sure that people aren't going to say like, she's working seriously. That was a terrible pass. Like who cares? Don't care about what anybody else thinks. Mm -hmm. We're all being creative people. We're all in this field. And while it is a competitive industry because only one person gets the job, Somebody else getting the job does not mean you're less of an actor, does not mean you're less talented. It just means in the in the um, vision of the story that they're putting together, you did not fit perfectly with all of the other puzzle pieces. So play and do what feels right for you in that moment and what feels creatively fulfilling. And for those five minutes that you get to play that character, love playing that character because you might not get to play them ever again. But for those five minutes, you're the only one um, who ever gets to say those lines. So I would have said like, just play and don't be so hard on yourself and don't try to be perfect. Yeah. That's Good inspirational. Answer. Good answer. <laughs> it is. I, I hope I inspire myself sometimes. <laughs> every time I look at an audition and go, I what can't do this. What do, they, what do they even want? Well, it's not me. And then I walk outside and go, I really want to do it, but I'm like not capable. Yeah. And then you just go in and like close the door and say like, whatever. And then sometimes they call and sometimes they don't. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All sometimes right. I look at an audition and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do that and at almost every audition. I'm like, yeah. how did I ever start working at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even when I'm in the, in the job, I'm like, why did they hire you? You suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So stressful. How did you get here? <laughs> Who did you trick? So you woke <laughs> up and you walked in the booth. Yeah, right. That's yeah. true.
<laughs> That's so, dangerous, uh, though, to say, like, you woke up and walked into the booth. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be, like, just knocking on random studio doors. They're like, yeah. I was told I wake up I and wake I walk up and in. I come here. No, 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 no. Right. Like, I mean, you wake up I wake up and you're and recording booth. from home. That booth. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. right. Let me make that clear. <laughs> details. Details. You can't leave out the details. Specificity. The devil are in the, in the details. <laughs> uh, so, unfortunately... Our time has come <gasps> to an end here, oh, no. um, but hopefully it will not be the last time. Before we head out, though, is there anything that you wanted to say, that you wanted to promote, something that you're working on? Um, we have these last few moments here together. Pokemon Master Journeys. Yes. <laughs> coming this summer. Um, coming soon. I'm so excited. Same. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, yeah me too. It's going to be fun. follow us all on social media. We all have a lot of projects going on, things coming out, NFTs dropping. I don't know if you guys are doing any of that. Are you doing that? <laughs> no, I, I, I know nothing. You have to educate us. <laughs> I will have a conversation. Please, please. <laughs> it's, it's a great time for artists. I'm very excited about it. So, <laughs> thanks for hosting this panel and letting us get yeah. to come together and Hang celebrate out. the show. And yeah. uh, no. it's been the, the hardest thing for me. Uh, well, one of the hardest things for me during this last time is not getting to be able to celebrate the launch of the shows at conventions with the yeah. other actors. I mean, it's like a huge like launch party and getting to be at a con with fans there and everybody is excited. Yeah. Um, we record alone. So like our time to celebrate and know that people are watching and get to celebrate with each other is at conventions. And so yeah. uh, I'm so excited to finally get to do that for this show. Yeah. Oh, oh, trust me, as a, as a lifelong Pokemon fan, we are all celebrating all the hard work that every single one of you put in, and we can definitely see it. Pokemon Journeys is absolutely incredible, and I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being part of my life and for being part of the entire oh. Pokemon community's uh, life, because truly, I mean more than you all realize you help people not just by entertaining them but it's, especially when it comes to um in terms of like mental health you really really help people more than you uh more than you know so i want to thank you on behalf of the entire pokemon community every single one of you and and any uh, cast member that couldn't be here today as well. So uh, thank you all. Uh, everybody, please give a virtual round of applause to Alejandro, Zena, Sharam, uh, <laughs> stumbled over your name. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Jeremy yeah. and yeah. Sarah Natacheri.